Okay, we're here. Let's see what's on the field. All right, hi everyone. This is Kill2. I'm with Angel Hun. We're looking at Hun Reloaded versus Tusker Bastards on day two of Alliance Tournament 8. Hun Reloaded on your left have brought three Hurricanes, three Drakes, one Scimitar, two Dramiels, and a Thrasher. And on the Tusker Bastard side, we have the next flagship to be fielded, Don Pellegrino's boat, the Balgorn. Uh, accompanying that is an APOC, Guardian, Rook, and Daredevil. Not a lot of ships on the field for the Tusker Bastards, but let's see if that flagship makes up for it. I don't know if you're missing a couple locks, but it's two APOCs and two Rooks. Uh, you might have just said one of each, but uh, everyone can see that anyway. <laughs> it's interesting, actually, this Tusker Bastard setup looks a lot like the Voltron setup. It's got um, some big differences about it. They're not using as many ships, like you said. Uh, they're using some jamming, which is a little different. But Amara battleships at the core, I mean, it's in, in a way really similar. And we've got the fight rolling. Uh, these guys were at pretty long range to begin with. Um, definitely uh, at least 40 or 50k between them. Um, looks like a Rook's going to be the first target for Hun Reloaded. And it's going down pretty fast. It's got uh, an armor tank, so it won't go through that armor quite as quickly, uh, depending on if the Guardian can get a lock on it. Um, and actually, we lost the Thrasher right away for Hun Reloaded, so First Blood is going to go to Tusker Bastards. You still with me, Angel? Yes, sir. First blood goes to the Tusker Bastards, but it looks like the Hun strike right back at one of the pinnacles of the ECM ships, the Rook, uh, going down for the Tusker Bastards. Um, not The Balgorn is definitely firing. Um, no dampeners on it. It's webbing. It seems to be webbing one of the smaller ships. Uh, it is webbing one of the uh, one of the Hun Dramials at the moment. It looks like they're Looks like the Tusker Bastards are trying to eliminate the Dramiel so they have a little more maneuverability. Um, Tusker Bastard is about to lose their Daredevil if that Guardian is not able to keep up. And the first uh, Dramiel for Hun Reloaded goes down. Let's see who the Balgorn switches to. I kind of love this um, that, that second uh, Daredevil going down now for um, Tusker Bastards. I'm, I'm really happy to see Hun Reloaded bringing some drakes and using them in a way that's working. This setup uh, really focused around the battle cruisers, running shield tanks with a little logistics backup. Having six battle cruisers gives you a lot of damage. I'm kind of surprised the drakes are running heavy missiles. Um, Could have done hams with the hurricanes just to kind of stay in theme, keep that fast moving close range DPS high. But uh, the heavy missiles, just as much damage on most, and they're working great so far. Uh, Tusker Bastards just lost their. Um, uh, Guardian. So with that gone, uh, the clear path to the win here for uh, Hun Reloaded, where we might get to see the first flagship to go down in the tournament right here. It looks like this flagship may be the first one to die. Um, we're seeing Hun Reloaded with excellent target calling, taking out the pillars of of the Tusker Bastard team, both Rooks and the Guardian. They have no, they now have no remote repping ability and no E-War ability. It looks like there is still a lot of damage coming out of the Tusker Bastard team as one of the Hurricanes gets obliterated. Uh, we're seeing um, we're seeing a lot of damage go to the first APOC for Tusker Bastards, and it should die soon. It's an interesting choice, the APOC. I'm not really sure why they were selected over a ship maybe like the Abaddon or, the, or the, even the Armageddon. Um, what do you think about that? I was actually just going to talk about the same thing as we see the first APOC go down and also a hurricane go down for a uh, hundred loaded. I think that the APOC's attractive in the tournament because of the range bonus. You know, you, you really have in theory the whole arena accessible with pulse lasers which is great uh... it's it's a cool bonus they added to that ship a while back and i think it's um... Y you know it's it, it's enticing you think alright I, now i can hit the e-war and the the bombers and everything from pretty much wherever i'm at i don't have to worry about putting propulsion on it uh, i can fill the mids with eccm but it never seems to do that well i mean i think it's too weak uh... on the dps side and by being so stationary and kind of easy to screw around with it doesn't it just doesn't quite do it um, so I like the Armageddon of the Abaddon better even though I think that I think that it's easy to make an argument for the apocalypse as we see that second one now going into structure 
Yeah, but looks like it. I mean, at this point, I would have probably called the Pellegrino's boat first, um, so they have time to loot it. Uh, value of the ship's fittings and ships seem to be around $3 billion. Um, there are a swarm of EC-300s all over this uh, flagship right now. Um, he seems to be getting occasional shots off, but I would be surprised if he is able to maintain a lock for very long. There is some damage going out to the Hun Reloaded team, um, easily managed by the Scimitar at this point. Even though that Balgorn is able to lock down um, any single ship, or maybe even a pair, uh, it doesn't look like he'll be able to overcome the Scimitar's uh, repping ability single-handedly. Yeah, those uh, those Hornet ECM drones are so, they're like unbelievably annoying. If anybody's ever uh, done much small scale PvP, you've had experience with them. And if you haven't um, used them before, you've flown against them before, give them a try. And your and your ships like Drake's, uh, you know, you think the damage drones are a no brainer, um, but these things in numbers, especially if there's two or three people fielding them, can shut down even ships like this, a, a battleship running ECCM, they can lock it down uh, almost. Um, forever, so that's super annoying. And he, this Balgorn now gonna go down, no doubt about it. Uh, really convincing win for Hun, which uh, shouldn't be surprising. They, they're a really great team. Yeah, they are a fantastic team. They have won the tournament in the past. I believe it was tournament five they won with the first to field a, a bomber setup. Great job, Hun Reloaded, and the first flagship dies. Pellegrino's boat, the Balgorn, is dead from the Tusker Bastards. Back to Soundwave. Convincing win by one of the tournament favorites. Two flagships fielded, one lost. That's an expensive loss for Tusker Bastards. Next up is Hussar Federation versus the Ronin. We'll be back at 6300 EVE.